You got a lot of favorite players today. Yeah, well, uh, I'm proud of them, you know. Uh, we, we, did, we got thumped on Friday, and promised you guys that we'd come back and play hard. I uh, couldn't promise you that we'd win both games, but the fact that this was a big series and we got plenty more to work out in front of us, but uh, getting the series I, was a great accomplishment. I think that's a pretty good baseball team, the Cowboys. That was in the order twice in a row, though, just then. Yeah, and it was not only that, it was uh, we had some really good execution. We had a couple things get away from us sign-wise and so forth. But I, overall, I was not only pleased with the amount of hits and the amount of runs, but the direction that we're hitting the ball now. We're using the whole field and harder to defend and using the middle of the field. And those are the things that show up in consistency that uh, you're not one-dimensional. You know, when you get pull home runs or those type of things, those are, those are uh, those don't show up all the time, but the fact that we can put the ball in play and use the whole field against uh, what I think is pretty good pitching, uh, that'll show up each and every day, whether we get hits or not, and, and maybe we can finally get some continuity and consistency to that. Our Achilles heel today was the uh, you know, six hit batters and four walks, and a lot of those were leadoff hitters too. It was just, it was crummy. Uh, there's no mistake in that. And those weren't pitches that were supposed to be inside either. Those are, some of those pitches were supposed to be outside and we hit guys. So I don't know what got into some of those guys. You usually have more command. Travis and, and Daniel, a couple guys down the, at the end of the order who came through and got kind of some rallies started and finished and then set things up for Graybeck and that group at the top. Yeah, you know, and <coughs> I said all along that it's contagious. Things are contagious. So uh, with Coach Waz and Coach Ullman and Coach Martyr's hard work, uh, the players' hard work, uh, watching uh, guys that have served as good examples like uh, Kasser and Bennett is finally rubbing off on some guys. And now we can, you know, instead of just waiting for a few guys to show up and be at the play, if we can get the bottom part of the order, uh, get it going. And, you know, are they going to be 400 hitters? Maybe not, but at least uh, some consistency to that. Uh, we, hopefully we can score in many innings instead of just waiting around for that spectacular six and four run inning. He just looked like he was pretty good. I just yeah. had to limit him a little bit, but he, his pitch count was 50, and he went 58, partly because he threw 46 in the first two innings. Yeah. Um, he didn't have good command. Uh, we pretty much just featured his fastball, and uh, he was a little bit all over the place. But in his history, he usually is a guy that doesn't settle into the second or third inning anyway. So, but I think combination of rust and uh, early in, in the game and. You know, it wasn't ice skating. He got three zeros for us, which uh, ultimately that could have been ugly. That could have been the game and changed the whole complexion of the game. And, uh, as bad as it was, our guys showed some tenacity and kept it to a minimum. Some of the three, except for the sixth inning, we finally we play with matches long enough and burns you, and that's, we got burned in that game. The team is not really a long ball team. I mean, you're always teaching hitting into all fields, right? So yeah. what, what is the actual... Say, I mean, between saying it and thinking it and doing it, what's been the difference? Uh, it's a little bit of stage fright, quite frankly. I, not fright, but being able to take their work, trusting their work, having confidence in their work, and take it into competition. For whatever reason, uh, just like I'm sure the guys that I brought in the game didn't hit guys and walk guys in the bullpen. Well, <laughs> when young men cross the line, the adrenaline rush is different. So. Or, you know, how do you get confidence? You experience it. You experience it in anything in life. You, you give a good speech. The next time you're asked to give a speech, it's probably less nerve-wracking. You know? So anything in life, you need to taste success. And that was, I was saying, the, the contagious part of it. Hopefully they can maintain that and take their good preparation, which we've had all along in this, in this losing business that we've had. The guys have really been working hard, We're working smart, and then, of course, playing smart. As we say, go for it in the game. Do trust what you, the work you put in, and starting to show up a little bit. Now. That's encouraging. This team hasn't bunted as much as previous years. Have you made a point of moving away from that small ball approach? Yeah, uh, the coaching staff felt like uh, you know this ballpark will drive you crazy because it's a two-out base hit ballpark to begin with, and when you're given one of those three outs up each and every inning. It makes it even more difficult. Uh, we'll hit into more double plays at the end of the year. I'm sure our double play ratio will go up, but we'll also maybe get some more crooked numbers. And uh, it isn't all the way to Billy Ball and the three run home run. It's not about hitting home runs, but it's just lack of giving up outs and sacrifice. We'll still base hit bunt to move guys and, and all that. And we're, we're trying that style and see if we can 
get the continuity to score more runs consistently. <coughs> of course, when you're hitting 208 or 210 as a team, and you're playing for three hits an inning, that's probably not a good formula either, uh, if you know what I'm saying. So now that we're getting more hits, putting the ball in play, moving runners with hit and runs, like Austin had a real, Graybeck had a real nice hit and run in that inning that we punched back after they scored the three. That's, that, those innings are momentum breakers. And the other team goes, okay, now we're down by two. And then the other team rolls a four, and you're like, oh, it's really deflating. So that's the ebbs and flows of momentum within a baseball game. And, but to answer your question, uh, yeah, it's a – intentional thing we're not trying to sacrifice as much until later in the game if it's one run game. Does that change in approach have to do with the players themselves or just an overall mindset? No, I don't think we're, we're that much different skill set wise. We're, uh, we're athletic, we're left handed, which kind of helps. Uh, got back control guys, that helps too. And But I don't think the, the makeup or uh, the skill set of our lineups any different. It's just a, a con we don't want to leave the nation and sacrifice punts anymore, obviously. We'll let Augie Garrido do that from now on. Talk about kind of confidence now, and they've been working hard even after losing a few, but now do you expect to see kind of this can be something that kind of roll you into next weekend when you're back home and then go from there? Well, I sure hope so. You know, uh, SC's playing better now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, there's no guarantee that <coughs> this might be a defining moment. We might look back. I can remember when we bounced back from the mm -hmm. Cal loss on Friday and uh, this is certainly a start. Uh, it's not a win streak yet, as the guy says. That's number two. If we win tomorrow, that's what they call a win streak. It has been done. So that'll be uh, the speech. Anyway, we feel good about this weekend, and the next objective is to go up to Hillsboro and compete against Portland and see if we can get a win streak, number three, and then we'll we'll deal with the USC next weekend. But it's certainly better than how the weekend started. All mm -hmm. we could do after Friday was win the series. And, and we're, like, I, like I started this conversation, I'm really proud of my guys. How concerned are you about Cole because of what happened? Um, yeah, he needs to pitch better. Uh, he knows it. Um, he's the guy that <coughs> if there was any knock on Cole uh, in his history here, it's he throws too many strikes sometimes. And we felt like he threw too many strikes on Friday. Uh, and they made him pay. Not all teams are going to make him pay the way they did, but they made him pay. And, and so uh, Cole will get the ball again next Friday, and I'll give it to him with my chest out, feeling very confident. Uh, he can throw all four pitches where he wants to. The good pitching is command out of the zone, as we all know, as well as inside the zone. So uh, we've got to figure out a, a better way to finish hitters off. And, and I take responsibility for that, because I'm, I'm the guy that's coaching him, and I'm the guy that's calling pitches. So if they're stupid calls, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take part of the responsibility. How's Kron's aside? Over? I don't know. Uh, that was that just came out of nowhere. So hopefully it's not anything serious. It's just a strain. Sure. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay.